On the one hand, as I look at the future of the sharing economy, I'm looking less at the platforms to share physical assets. There are many of those and no shortage of um, opportunities there. But I'm much more focused on the enablers of the sharing economy. What helps people um, share more and share more responsibly, but also looking at this through the lens of the future of work and what are the kinds of solutions that independent workers need to run thriving businesses in the future. And financial services and insurance are at the heart of what's going on. So it's quite interesting to find, um, on the one hand, you've got insurance companies that instead of insuring everything you own all the time under one comprehensive insurance policy, are now providing on-demand insurance for single items over short periods of time. So you can insure your skis only when you're on the slopes, or if you're in a business setting, you can insure your camera. If you're a freelance photographer, you can insure, insure your camera only when you're on a professional photo shoot. And you can do so at the, a, the fraction of the cost that you would normally have to pay. Similarly, in financial services, we see new payment providers that are basically developing products and service solutions for freelancers, for self-employed people, many of whom have a bank account but haven't been able to find financial services tailored to their needs. They're not a big corporate commercial client. And so, so for financial services providers, um, alongside other trends like peer-to-peer -peer lending, crowdfunding, new digital currencies like Bitcoin and others, also looking at a much more practical kind of user-friendly set of solutions and services that serve tomorrow's workforce much more so than traditional bank products do today.